Shalom, shalom, brothers. This brother Kamal Mahar here, back at it again. First thing first, we'll give all praise to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shah, Bashim, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders on their true form from GMS. Blessings to the Aki Madera preaching his word, Rahor, true sincerity. Blessings to 144,000, one third entirely, the first fruits kingdom of heaven, the house of David, the Biaf, the Wada. And shalom to you, brothers, that they're speaking in different tongues and looking in different nations. Shalom to you, brothers. So today, brothers, I was on YouTube, and um, it's pretty much a video that's about uh eight eight days old but that's pretty much still um you know still here um so apparently if i was to kind of go around to it it says uh right here i've been um looking up this uh it says the top u.s spy breaks silence on alien phenomenon giant ufo passes the moon yeah, it passes the moon. So I was taking a look at it, and um, it was very interesting. First things first, Esau has no clue what they are. But there was there was that new there was a video that um they have an idea though, uh, but not like not quite. They're calling them aliens, um, or whatever. But we know that they're the angels of the Lord, Yahweh uh driving these vehicles. So. This video I wanted to play is also going to say something really interesting on how many sightings they found so far, I believe, so far. But without further ado, this is going to be a quick hit. You know, I wanted to pretty much, I'm like the spirit do. I'm, I'm going to play this video and then bring out some precepts uh, to, you know, shoot, the elite want to be edified. That's what I'm going to do, edify the you brothers. But also, I'm going to let the elites know, you know, because they be watching these videos. On what they are and what's about to happen and what to expect from these things. Not to mention, there was a uh, real quick, there was a um, a article about how uh, it's come. It came out now that the that the, the so-called UFO, the chariots, has been m messing with Esau's uh, nuclear nuclear warheads sites and situations like that. And um, you know, they got like you know, different fighter jet fighters, testimonials, and all kinds of crazy stuff. But I'm going to let this play for a second, and then uh, we can go from there. And it is simply stunning on the inside. The article goes on to say, Mrs. Haynes was quizzed about UFOs, which have become a serious national security debate in the U.S. after years of being co-signed to the dustbin of conspiracy theories. The stunning UAP task force report, well, I don't really know how stunning it was. We waited a year for it, and it was a seven-page report full of big words that really told us nothing whatsoever. But I digress. The stunning UAP task force report published by the Pentagon over the summer admitted that there have been unexplained encounters between the U.S. military and mystery objects, such as the infamous Tic Tac UFO. And while the report, which analyzed 144 sightings, did not explicitly spell out a possible alien connection... Hey, brothers, I know y'all heard that. I know y'all heard that. It said... They had a possible of 144 sightings, man. Come on. What? 144 sightings. If that ain't like, hey, y'all, that's the Lord. Not to mention they dealing with they dealing with angelical forces anyway. They're talking about the angels. This is all about the angels. And then it happened to be 144 sightings. Hey, this is beautiful, my brothers. If you can't see this. I, I, I don't know what to say, man. This is a this is a beautiful time to be in, man. It's just awesome to be all in this spiritual situation that we're in. 144 sightings, man. Why is everything 7, 12, and 144,000 when it comes to... Or 144, or 44, or 44, or 1, or 14? Everything that's significant is always something in that range. <laughs> Like like my one brother had been through a really a bad crisis, um, and when he was out when he wasn't in the truth dealing with like a a gun shoot shooting situation, and there was 144, 144 shell casings. How about one time? Uh, I don't want to get off topic, but this is just this is just this spiritual man. How about one time I was going to work, and I, and and my car was on E. I had no no gas money. Hey brother, as your how will live? This is this is the true story, and I'm gonna get back to my point. 
I went to work and and mind you, it was many it was a nice little couple of miles away too. So so I knew that going to work I'll make it there, but more than likely I won't make it back um because because of gas. So I do construction and long story short, the couple couple Jake brothers that I was with was um we we they were tearing down tearing down bathrooms and um by tearing down the bathroom um you know they had was able to grab some copper some lead and that was behind the walls long story short i was the guy that refilled and dumped the, tra the trash i w i went to the room to give them give them back a, a, a new dumpster they had said out of nowhere just just off of nilly willy and i was in the tr and I'm, I'm in the troop at this moment and he said, hey, you know what, Kev? You know, in the world, that's my name. Um, I'm Kamai, Hebrew. But it said, um, but he said, uh, uh, hey, man, that power of lead and copper over there, you go ahead and take that, brother, man. We, we got enough. You go take that. I like, I, I didn't even ask for it. Long story short, just so happened, uh, the Lord blessed me with enough, with enough gas to make it to the scrapyard that was also nearby the site. I get to the site. I scrap in all the um the metal that they gave me and I and and the, the earnings came out to be forty four dollars. I, I lied to you now, brothers. If any brothers can hear this, man, it, it's spooky, man. I got out forty four dollars exactly. Twenty dollars for gas and twenty dollars to get some food. And all I had to all all, all I could do was just call law your hot me up a shot, man. You know what I mean? So hey man. Not to mention we dealing with Esau right now and, and how they're so clueless about what's going on. Not only are they clueless, but there was 144 sightings, though. What are the odds of that? Like not 138 or 147 or something like that, but 144 is pretty, pretty insane. I'm going to play a little bit more of this and I'm going to pull some pre's out. And how could it? We expected that. They're never going to tell us the truth. But once again, I digress. It did not rule it out either as the mystery continues. Haynes appeared to crack the door open even further for a possible alien link at the event where she spoke alongside NASA Chief Bill Nelson, who, if you guys remember, just a few videos back, I did a full video on his statements about aliens. So if you haven't seen that video, head over to the video section on my channel and give it a watch. It's got his picture in the thumbnail. Also included in the discussion was leading expert Professor Avi Loeb and the world's second richest man, Jeff Bezos. So there's a YouTube video here. You can find it from the article, but we see this woman here who is, she's top echelon. I mean, she is, as of right now, the senior person in the government to come out and hint. And I hate to always use the word hint because they've always been hinting, but the most senior person to come out and say, hey, this isn't a complete hogwash conspiracy theory. So the article goes on to say, quote, during this discussion, she admitted that there remains things about the strange encounters which the intelligence community simply do not understand, highlighting the need for more investigation, obviously. But we know that these things have been investigated for 50, 60 plus years now. So there's some untruth in that statement. The director of national security went on to say, quote, the main issues that Congress and others have been concerned about is safety of flight concerns and counterintelligence issues. Always, there's also the question of, is there something else that we simply do not understand, which might come extraterrestrially? Haynes appeared to be hesitant when mentioning the word extraterrestrially. But she has now become the most senior person in the intelligence community to hint at an alien link. The DNI, as she's called, acknowledged that there needs to be better reporting structures put in place so that UFOs now more... Hey, brothers, when you look at this right here, tell me this doesn't look like what Ezekiel explained. I mean, this is this is spot on. I mean, this is it's, this. I mean... You know, I wasn't there, but with the way Ezekiel explains this, you have to you have to see that like, OK, so the trees are in the way, but you can still see the lights and you can still see the circle, which is a typical, uh, you know, even this icon up here. Um, even this icon I have up in my notifications, there's like a circle with a dot in the middle. It's kind of the same, too. Uh, but this is, you know, let me let me just bring let me just bring it out because I got to 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 go through the scriptures. That's what we need. That's what we should be doing already. Um, Ezekiel. 
I brought this out before. I did a, I did other other um chariot videos before, but you know now we in this time and this is like the new update. I gotta get back to it. So now Ezekiel the first chapter, brothers don't know. You can bring it out. You can also look into it. It's a phenomenal uh chapter where Ezekiel um uh actually saw angels. I, I believe four of them, and also the chariots that they had that was kind of like moving with their mind that wherever I'll just bring it out. Okay, so I'm gonna get to the point. Uh okay, I started three. It says the word of Yahweh Shemashah came expressly unto Ezekiel the priest, the son of Buzi, in the land of the Chaldeans by the river Shabar, and and the hand of Yahweh Shemashah was there upon him. And I looked and behold a whirlwind came out of the north, a great cloud, and a fire enfolded itself. And a bright and a brightness was about it, and, and out of the mist thereof as a color of amber, out of the mist of, of the fire. So I'm not another another interesting thing is there's a there's a documentary where uh there was Edomites being interviewed on uh a uh, big giant engulfed fire amber like UFO came over the uh, nuclear their nuclear silos and they it, they and then I, I when I was watching it, I automatically thought about Ezekiel. Because Ezekiel explained the same thing, and here we go, thousands of what, two thousand or a lot of a lot of years later, um, Edomite explaining the exact same thing Ezekiel said. Like he could have said, "Yeah," I mean, the way he explained it, he could have co-signed and could have said, uh, "Oh yeah, you know, it looked like engulfed in fire, and it was the color of amber, like like what Ezekiel saw." He he might as well he might as well said like Ezekiel because he explained it like Ezekiel. That's what I knew at that time. This 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 truth that were that I was in had to been true because I was still a babe and I was like still getting into a I wasn't on the highways and hedges yet, um. But this is when it was like the Lord was was using these particular scriptures and the UFO thing to lock me into a fold. But it was the same uh this description from an Edomite, you know what I mean? So it says uh Ezekiel one, it says it also out of the mist thereof came the likeness of four living creatures, and this. This was their appearance, and they had the likeness of a man, right? Because they, they, they're angels. And everyone had four faces, and everyone had four wings. And their feet were like, were, were straight, were, and their feet were straight feet, and the sole of their feet was like the sole of a calf's foot, and they sparkled like the color of burnished brass. So they so they actually had a, 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 a dark brown skin as well, but sparkling on an angelical level, like, you know what I mean? We ain't got that type of stuff yet. But we come and we have a shot comes back to, to, to deliver the elect of nation of Israel, so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Indians. We're going to get a body that's glorious like what he's describing. Not like maybe like this one, but however you have a shot look, we're going to look like that. It's, but but hey, but this is also giving angels the the, um, the color of their the color of their makeup, which is uh, brown. So there you go. That 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 cuts the um, the Edomites version of angels with little babies with wings and all this crazy shit. The wings part is true. But the whole white babies and white naked people, it's all bullshit. But now this is proof that they're 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 they're, they're in a humanoid like of a body. I'm gonna say that because it's a man. And but their makeup or what you was called skin complexion was a like a burnished brass, similar to uh Yahweh Shah in Revelations 1 and 13. Um, but they were like a sparkle like color. So they was like doing some crazy powered the way they aura look think of like um I I can think about Dragon Ball Z when they power up. And he, when he turns Super Saiyan or Super Saiyan God Red or Super Saiyan Blue, there's a blue makeup about them. And he's sparkling with electricity going off of them. It's probably something like that. Especially with a sparkle like the color of burnished brass. So they were they were, they were were brown-skinned uh, individuals. And he says, uh, and they had the hands of a man under their wings on their four sides. And they four had their faces and their wings. So now what I'm, what I'm explaining is, now Esau in this video... Are saying aliens and they're saying you know all this extra extra terrestrial words or whatever. But in reality, if you just read Ezekiel, it'll let you know that they're angels flying these things that they're seeing. That's the right here is the proof. Here, here's the proof. The scriptures would tell you who flying these UFOs, and they're the angels. That's what it is. And it says, and it says they had hands of a man under their wings. And on their four sides, and their four had their faces and their wings. Their wings were joined one to another. They turned not where they went. 
they went every one straight forward. So shoot, man, these things. So the angels move like just like the chariots move. They move like this, like this, like this, like that. Like wherever they got to go, they'll go. There is no kind of U-turn. It's just like they just they just there. Like you know, they just here, here, and then here, 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 here. Like you know, they just you know. And so does the chair. They move. I'm gonna keep on reading. And it says, as for the likeness of their faces, they they four had a face of a man and the face of a lion. On the right side, they had four had the face of an ox, and the left side had four had face of an, an eagle, which all symbolize and mean things, but it's also twofold. Thus were their faces and their wings were, were stretched upward. Two wings of every one were joined one to another, and two covered their bodies. Wow. So, wow. So this is a pretty good. So, so, so thus, thus were their faces and their wings were stretched upward. So you got, you got wings that was up like this, more or less. Kind of like the uh, shorty off of, um, think of it like a, um, you know, like, um, what's that one shorty, the wasp, how her wings go up and then the wings go down, similar to something like that, but the wings go up and then the other wings was over, over, over top of themselves covering the whole body. So the wings were huge. They had really big, big wings. So the wings part is still, we're still true. And it says, um, um, and they went. Everyone straight forward, whether the spirit was to go, they went and they turned not when they went. So that's crazy. So also you, you gotta look at the chariot that, that was that was with them. Wherever they went, the chariot followed them like they was on one accord. As for the likeness of the living creatures, their appearance was like the burning coals of fire and like the appearance of lamps. So they glow. They they, they had a glow about them. Like I said, like kind of like a, a Dragon Ball Z type of uh, aura. Probably better as Super Saiyan. That the yellow golden looking like thing. You know, probably something like that. Burning coals of fire. So it was like a... Yeah, they was on some glowing like Dragon Ball Z do. And it says... uh, And and like the appearance of lamps. So it was a light about them. Like they was like they were glowing. Like that shit... The, whew, that's a lot of... Wow. That must have been amazing to see. And it said it went up... It went up and down among the living creatures. And the fire was bright. Out of the fire went forth... Out of, out, out of the fire went forth lightning. <laughs> And the living creatures ran and returned as the appearance of flash of lightning. So that's how fast they were moving. So not only do they move super crazy, but they move super crazy. Like, you know what I mean? Whoop, 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 whoop. Like, I mean, they can just dart. They can just go. You know, if any brothers ever seen, uh, there was a look up a video, a UFO over, um, what is that? It was in Jerusalem, I believe, either Rome or Jerusalem. And it was over, it was coming down. It was multiple camera views and it was coming down kind of like how a spider does on a spider web, kind of like real smooth and coming down like really smooth. And it went over this little dome like type of a building and then it just whew, it just shot right up. I think uh, it also happened in New York as well. And that's proof that is in the scriptures that that how they seen a move, you know, it says that they move like lightning, the speed of light type, you know, so. Hey man, is I, I would say Ezekiel did a very good job, man, of, of trying to explain this. Here's the thing. The appearance of the wheels, because remember, so another thing too, brothers, if you know if new, any new brothers watch my videos, uh, or or this is just gonna be comfort, um, edification for the brothers, you gotta remember the scriptures talk about uh chariots in many ways. Uh chariots are I said this before, chariots are chariots, they are wheels, whirlwinds chambers even considered as mountains depending on how big they are um zechariah called it a flying roll but that's not like common but the common ones are chariot whirlwind chamber like in isaiah 26 and 20 um mountain like in second address 13 um you got uh um let me see i'm still like it chariot whirlwind chamber mountain um clouds there we go clouds uh clouds are are definitely one of the main words in the scriptures that um are are referred to as um as um uh, chariots cloud cloud would be a good one because that's what they do they engulf themselves as clouds most times or when you have a shot in x the first chapter it said a cloud had received them you know what i mean but in reality it was a chariot that had an actual body to it but they just used the clouds uh for their situation um, it says, um, 
So and here go here's here's one word called in wheels, which is also used a couple times. It says the parents night sixteen, the parents of the wheels and their work was like unto the color of burl, right? and they and they four had one likeness and their parents and their work as was as it were a wheel in the middle of a wheel. You see that? Now, a wheel in the middle of a wheel. Okay, so look at this depiction. What does that look like? Press play. Pause. So what does this look like? Look at that. A wheel in the middle of a wheel. See that? So it's a wheel-like shape, but it's a, a wheel in the middle and a wheel outside of it. So like, like a wheel within the wheel. And the, and the inner part is obviously common sensely is what they will use technology wise to beam up you know things or even other angels or even you know when um salvation comes lord will not gonna be a part of that number you know brothers are going to get beamed up through the middle of these things most likely you know what i mean like you know who knows how that day is going to come but as far as the description of how these chariots are However, it's going to go. It's going to be a beam up process, right? So now, look, take a look at this: a wheel within the wheel. That's exactly what. It, so if, this, if these trees was not the way, you would see how it will be a wheel like this, and then you can see how it, it looks, looks like a whole separate wheel in the middle. That's what Ezekiel saw, and obviously Ezekiel was looking from a, a bottom to upward position. That's how he's able to see below it like that. So he looked up and was able to describe it. It ain't like, like a wheel within a wheel. Like, you know what I mean? Like, that's the best I would say, too. Like, it looked like a, a circle with a light in the middle, like another circle. Like, I probably would probably use better terminology, like saying, like, well, it looked like a big circle with uh, another big circle in the middle with a light or whatever. You see what I'm saying? So, um, and then here, here's, this another, here's another, another good point. It says in 17, he says, See, he says, um, when they went, they went upon their four sides and they turned not when they went. Right. Uh, as for the rings, right. As for the rings, their rings, they were so high that they were dreadful and their rings were full of eyes round about them four, right. So what is that talking about? That's talking about the lights. To lock it. Put in. So, so the rings would be like, see how like it's like rings right there. And I'm speaking as a man doing the best I can to support Ezekiel on this one, but I gotta be somewhat, somewhat right. The rings are right there, and even might be another little outer layer of rings. And then it says eyes round about. Where those are the lights. See those lights going all the way around. Those are the eyes round about that he was talking about. And see, when you see eyes round about, he was calling lights eyes, which look like eyes. I mean, yeah. I mean, when you look, when you look at it, they can be considered like eyes. Now he he already used lamps, so you know, obviously the 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 the, the, the uh, angels had a glow to him, but he's calling the chariot lights eyes. So okay, cool. But that's exactly what he was talking about. And when you actually uh get into the scriptures. You know, that's exactly, that's exactly um, how you would go about it. You know what I mean? And this is incredible. Uh, this is incredible. You know what I mean? This is, this is amazing. Oh, shit. Yeah, that's crazy. So, I wanted to bring that out right there. But, hey. Even though Esau don't know what they are, you know, the elites probably got an idea. Remember, there was a, uh, a interview. One brother just put it up, too. It was an interview where uh, an Edomite woman was uh, was interviewing um, an older Edomite or whatever. He was saying how there was a picture of, of, of angels coming out of spit, coming out of ships, and they were black skin, like really, really dark skin. And he had to say, give or take seven feet tall looking like men coming out them Jones, the angels. So now you got to look at it like this. The government has pictures of the angels. The Lord allowed it to happen, but it could be true that angels, the, uh, the angels have been seen before. You know what I mean? So, and they're big, tall, angelical looking like men. And, uh, but hey, even for Esau, he has no idea what they're meant for. This is Zechariah 5 and 1. 
Zechariah also seen a, a huge chariot. He says, then I turned and lifted up my eyes and look and behold a flying roll. So he called it. So his one looked like a roll, like kind of like I would say in their day, like a bread, like a like like a, like a loaf of bread. How they do it? Now their loaf of bread, I believe, in that day, wasn't really like in our rectangular style. It was more in that the way that the bread roll looked like a like a circular type of a bread roll, if I'm not mistaken. That's how a, a bread would come out in those days, where they had to take a, a pan and scoop under it and lift it up and pull out, out the oven type of thing. Pretty much how it would go. And he said unto me, what seest thou? And I answered, I see a flying roll. The length thereof is 20 cubits and the breadth thereof is 10 cubits. Now, he might be spot on, but I'm thinking if you're looking at it from a distance, it could be way bigger than this. But it says, then said he unto me, this is the curse that go over forth that go that go forth over the face of the whole earth for everyone that still live shall be cut off as on this side according to it and everyone that swear shall be cut off uh, cut off as on on that side according to it and i will bring it forth save you how about you shall host and it shall enter into the house of the thief and into the house house of them that swear falsely by my name and it shall remain in the midst of the house and shall consume it with timber thereof and the stones thereof right so this is talking about chariots going to be doing some great destruction and that's what they're meant for. They're actually meant, they're, they're considered the curse over the face of the earth. Why do you think it says in um, Amos 9 and 8, I believe, or 9 and 10, and it also in Proverbs 15 and 3, I can get it out. What, uh, what, this is what uh, the, the scriptures are talking about by angels as well. It says, the eyes of Yahweh Shah are in every place beholding the evil and the good. Who is the, who's the, who's the eyes of the Lord? It's the angels. Amos Amos uh, 9, 8 or 10. Right. 8. Behold, the eyes of the Lord, Yahweh Shah, are upon the sinful kingdom. What's that sinful kingdom? That's Babylon. And I will destroy it from off the face of the earth, saving, saving that I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob, saith Yahweh Shah. Right. Because he's going, to, he's, going to deliver his, he's going to deliver his people, especially the house, of, the house of Jacob. Right. Those are the eyes of the Lord. So... Yeah, man, it's going to be a great destruction with, for these for these heathens. So they that's that's why they got a space force. That's why they got to do. They got to set, them, set themselves up, and they're very desperate, obviously. And they 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 see for real for real, obviously for them to 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 bring out this type of information. They're actually you know telling the people certain stuff, but behind closed doors, they probably fucking swaying back and forth like what are we going to do with these things these things are just keep popping up they're on they're 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 messing with our navy ships and yeah your battleships they all right yo these yo these 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 fighter jet uh uh pilots see chariots all the time it's just it's just part of the game now you know and hey they don't know what they are but they are the angels of yahweh man matter of fact there's a uh is there like a um Shoot, they be flying around Yahweh, if I'm not mistaken. Revelation the fourth chapter when it when it, it describes Yahweh's uh, appearance. Um, okay, so um, so here's the here's the appearance of uh, seven and fire of the fire burning through burning before the throne, which are the seven spirits of Most High. I know that I saw like a, like it was saying something like the wheels. Oh, maybe that was um, Daniel, I believe Yahweh is seven and nine, I think. Daniel, uh, Yeah, so it says Daniel 7 and 9, I behold till the thrones were cast down, and the ancient of days did sit, that's Yahweh, whose garment was white as snow, prove that he has a body, and the hair of his head like the pure wool, like our, like, like so-called Negro's hair, so that's how you know he had, that's how you know uh, he's a so-called Negro, um, well, well, the liking of a so-called Negro, his throne was like the fiery flame, right, and his wheels as burning fire, so that means he got, 
on his throne. He got the angels flying around him in the, in, in the chariots. Well, they are around him, obviously. It's what it says. You know, their wheels is burning fire. They're around him. A fiery stream issued and came forth from before him. Thousands, thousands ministered unto him. And 10,000 times, 10,000 stood before him. The judgment was set and the books were open. Yeah, this is, uh, mm. woo. <laughs> it's going to get bad out here at some point, man, really soon. But hey, man, so I wanted to bring that out, brothers, to kind of, you know, further the point of the chariots. It's what these Edomites don't understand that their angels flying in them. There's no gr little green Ellings or anything like that. You know, uh, obviously you have appearance. A lot of angels obviously will look different. And these and the ones that, uh, that Ezekiel saw had uh, burnished brass uh, appearance. You know, like you like it describes in Yahweh Shah, uh, um, Revelations one and uh, thirteen on down. So with that, I brought this out as edifying to you, brothers. I'm gonna give all praise to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah by Shem Rakakwadash. Yahweh, He is to be exists by Shem the name and the only begotten Son, the Lord and Savior. Yahweh Shah by Shem the name and the, and the only in uh in the name and Holy Spirit of Rakakwadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders on the truth from GMS. Blessing to the Akim Adair preaching his word with whole true sincerity. Blessing to the 144,000 and one third entirely. The first fruits kingdom of heaven. House of David, W. Yaf, Dawada. And shout out to brothers out there speaking different tongues and looking different nations. Shout out brothers.